consecutive days of strong pro tour action here at Barnsley Metrodome. It's full on family full fun. Time. I've seen the TV advert. That's what Barnsley Metrodome is, my friends. And it also plays host to, Michaels won the ball. to this last set of ranking floor tournaments before the World Grand Prix. Yes, there's some European Tour events in September. But we have only got today and tomorrow left for some players to try and force their way into the reckoning for the World Grand Prix. And we start with an absolute blinder. Look at this. Michael Smith, the number two seed here today, the world number four, finalist at the UK Open and World Championship already this year against Josh Rock, a sensational young talent from Northern Ireland who yesterday posted the highest average of the year by anyone. And right now he's on to beat it. Yes, I know we've only had two visits. He averaged almost 122 yesterday. 180. But despite five perfect darts out of six, he might well lose this opening leg because Michael Smith's on for an 11 dart. 96. But he might have to take it out in this visit because they're both on 11 darters. Double 18. Double nine. 87. Couple of misses. There should be at least a dart at the bullseye for Josh Rock. Better than that. Game oh, shot. this is good, isn't it? This is bound to be good. It's the second time they've met this year. The other time was in a Pro Tour semi-final. Josh Rock averaged 103. Got done quite convincingly as well. Oh, it was a massive 106 average from the Bully Boy. Won that one by seven legs to three. That was in Niedenhausen. Oh, 81. A little period of time this year when Michael Smith was on absolute fire winning tournament after tournament picked up about oh, five six. in as many weeks including one on the World Series Madison Square Garden New York City 100 100 had a little word with Josh Rock earlier he's just trying to keep his feet on the ground really Everybody is talking him up, and rightly 140. so. Such a talent. And if you're going to do ridiculous things like average 122 in a live stream game, then people are going to talk you up even more. Six. It's OK to get excited, but you've still got a lot of work to do. And as we said in commentary yesterday, even while he was throwing that massive average, he's done some spectacular things. This could be spectacular. He's just the wrong side of the wire. It still isn't a debut year like, say, Rob Cross, who was winning titles. 86. Lots of them in that debut year. But the standard has been excellent. Game shot. Well, double five comes to his rescue, and it's an immediate break back for the world number four. Michael Smith, the second seed here today out of the 128 players. So this is board nine. We're going to show you all four hey, first round five. games from board nine. It includes the top player from North America, Jeff Smith, who's playing some really good darts this week. It includes Scott Williams, a man without a tour card, but who has won one of these titles this year, improbably. And includes the former German number one, oh, Max Hopp, taking on the five-time world champion Raymond van Barneveld is some board of action we've got for you. There is no doubt that this game takes top billing. Forty-three. At least six darts from here. Ooh, I thought he might go for that for a moment. Eighty-seven. Still not down to a finish. Weren't many legs like that from Josh Rock in the game against Brendan Dolan yesterday. Double top. Game shot. Really nicely done. 2-1 to the bully boy, Michael Smith. Played well yesterday, Michael himself. He is one of the top 100. performers on the circuit this year. Both in terms of standard the average is producing the number titles one the amount of money won pretty much everything he was only beaten by Danny Knopper in the quarterfinals yesterday having seen off 100 Gatlas, hop 
Vincent van der Voort and Martin Schindler. And his average all day was around about that 98, 98 mark. One hundred and eighty. Second maximum for Michael Smith. Applying the pressure now on Josh Rock. One hundred and thirty-five. Sixteen segment. Double nine. 3-1. Excellent stuff. 12 dart break of throw. Michael Smith taking charge of this game after a superb 11 dart start from Josh Rock. Michael Smith is 3-1 up and averaging close to 111. One hundred. One hundred and eighty. First maximum for Josh Rock. Go with the one seven seven he produced in that opening leg. Sixty. It was only the top seed Luke Humphreys who did for the Northern Irishman yesterday. Really did put him in his place. Played similar stuff to what Michael Smith playing now actually in the opening stages. One hundred and seventy four. Well, this is handy, isn't it? 174 to leave, 167. 140. He will go for this. He's not going to take it out. 139. Gets the next best prize left on a double. May not matter. Tops it is. Game what shot. What a player. What a player. Winning legs in 11 and 12 darts. Breaks straight back. Michael Smith marooned on double 14, unable to do anything about it. 139. If these two are going to play at this standard every time they meet, then let's just make them play every day. 59. Because if they carry on at this rate, they'll have played a couple of games, and the lowest average from either of them will be 103. 57. 59. 84. One hundred and forty. Picture perfect first dart comes away with a ton forty when the way he's playing. One eighty. It's probably what he expected. He might have needed it. Fifty six. You see an extra forty points there would have meant he got a chance to win the leg. Ooh, a double ten, usually very reliable for Michael Smith. That first dart was almost a distraction. Game shot. And we have a level game. 3-3. Three, three. Josh Rock hits back, having gone 3-1 down. 134. 134. Not a trace of concern on the face of Michael Smith. Well, would you be? He's averaging 110. 140. We just can't make this young lad go away. 140. 137. Oh, this doesn't need me. Just sit and watch it. 140. Enjoy it. 
game shot. Another 12 dart leg. Magnificent stuff from the pair of them. Michael Smith pushes his average up close to the 100 teens. 86. Ninety-three. Forty. One hundred. All the top players will say there's no easy games anymore. It used to be, you know, ten, fifteen 100. years ago. One hundred. A lot of the top seeds would turn up, certainly before the tour card era, where you could just pay to play. And you think the first couple of rounds, there's a very good chance I'm going to play somebody who's, who's not going to have the ability to seriously 65. test. 65. Unless I have an absolute nightmare. And it isn't like that anymore. But 128 tour card Six. holders, and more besides, who are quite capable of throwing 100 averages. If you're one of the top seeds and you get drawn against this lad, you know you're going to have to play well. And Michael Smith is playing in the manner of a man who knew when the draw came out he was going to have to be very, very good. And he has been magnificent. Game and he shot. continues to be magnificent. Another ton plus check out in this game. It goes to the bully boy, Michael Smith. It's another break of throw, a 5-3 lead. And he will throw for the match and a 6-3 victory. And Josh Rock, who never seems to deviate 96. from a sort of high 90s average, somewhere that's on 96, 97, 98, unless he's going way over a ton. He is set to lose another 97. match with an average somewhere around 98 at the minute. 95. If he carries on playing at this standard on a regular basis, he is going to win titles. Nathan Aspinall took the title yesterday. He's brilliant in the final. Barely missed a dart at double. 100. Only missed one in the final yesterday against Christoph Ratajski. But he was nowhere near that. He had an average 100. for the day for about, of about 92. And that was dragged up by the final. Josh Rock just needs to keep on doing what he's doing. And the rewards will come. The rewards will be massive. 56 88 left 92 to win it not this time oh, how about that for a second shot 114 To stay in it. Game shot. Nerveless. There doesn't seem to be anything lacking in his game other than a few more wins. Might just be a little bit of luck. Wait till we get him in long format games. Imagine if he can get a half decent draw at the World Championship. 100. Get through his first couple of rounds. In long format games, we don't really know what Josh Rock could do yet. 97. You'll be seeing plenty of him on the telly. He didn't manage to force 87. his way into the match play. Probably needed to win a title to do that. Scott Williams won the title and he didn't make it. 58. But there's a lot of action coming up. After the World Series in August. 134. Can he force his way into things like the Grand Slam, the European Championship? Players' Championship Finals is going to be there. One World Grand Prix is a possibility, but he's going to have to do something special this week One or in hundred. September on the European Tour. Chance to level. Double 16. 90. And is that the last dart he throws today? Might be. 
Game and of course it is. It is a magnificent Michael contest. Smith. The number two seed and world number four, Michael Smith, had to average 106 to beat Josh Rock last time. He's had to average 107 to beat him today. And he was pushed because once again, this fabulously talented Northern Irishman has averaged close to a ton. He's finished magnificently and it's not enough because one of the biggest names in the sport right now has produced a marvellous display to come through his opener. A 6-4 win for the number two seed. The World Championship and UK Open finalist is through to round two. He'll face Nick Fulwell or Jeff Smith. And that game's coming up in a moment.